What's good, YouTube? Hope all is well with you. This is Fragrance 1914 coming to you with another video. This is a single fragrance review video, and uh, it's part one of the uh, ones in my summer top 10 list. Uh, if you haven't uh, seen that already, go ahead and check that out. My summer uh, top 10 list uh, for 2017. And this is what I call the new kid on the block. I don't think many have heard about this fragrance. I'm going to go ahead and give you my mini full review of it. And that is Alfred and Hoff number two. Again, Alfred and Hoff number Alfred and Hoff's number two for men. Uh, this was, like I said, a new kid on the block. I picked this up at Nordstrom. I haven't seen it too many other places. Uh, but when I smelled this one, it was definitely one of those um, ones I had to test out. I took this to battle up against um, Thierry Mugler's, uh Ultra Zest, and uh, they split half and half. Uh, I say uh, out of uh, it was 17 ladies, I think one got, yeah, so 17 ladies, one got um, nine and the other one got eight and I'm not sure who won that <laughs> I can't remember who won that um, but uh, it was you know pretty much uh, dead even with those two and uh, you know whereas Ultra Zest was more fruity other people said they like this one because it's more masculine and I definitely have to agree it's a masculine uh, woody fresh aquatic uh, the main accords are fresh spicy woody aromatic marine and citrus so again fresh spicy woody aromatic marine and citrus now to get into the presentation I'm gonna move the camera around a little bit you can see here's the box and if you see right here I can bring it closer it's a hard box all the way around so there's no way to just open a lid or anything like that. What you have to do is click these two buttons. There's one on this side and there's one on this side. And I already have it pre-opened because I only, you know, I have to hold the camera. Uh, I have to hold the uh, smartphone, camera phone. And so I already have them clicked and unlocked. So you hold both of these two together and then you pull the top off with the other and you get that right there. Okay. And so to me, it's, it's really nice because it makes for it's got a, it's a nice little stand here. Uh, if you you really like or really are into presentation, this is a nice presentation in my book. Uh, with this bottom half being the stand, and you've got the uh, the fragrance right here, right here. Uh, you can go like this, bam, or just take this totally out of the picture. Uh, but I'm gonna leave it here. So Alfred and Hoff. Let me get it space Alfred and Hoff's number two so again this is the fragrance I'll give you a, somewhat of a close-up sorry about the glare there okay so to continue to continue on uh, going into I want to get into the details of the notes so, of course, at the top, as always, well, I don't want to say as always, but it's very common, um, it has bergamot. Now, this one is calling it, uh, according to Fragrantica.com, Calabrese bergamot. I don't know what the difference between bergamot and Calabrese bergamot is. I have no idea. Um, but it says Calabrese bergamot is on the top, along with Indian Buddha's hand citrus. So, you know your regular citruses but then this one says Indian Buddha's hand citrus and then Tha Thailandese Thailandese black basil so maybe it's different from uh, from regular black basil or regular basil but it's Thailandese black basil so Calabrese bergamot Indian Buddha's hand citrus and Thailandese black basil so that is what rounds out the top notes again sorry about the camera uh, a shaking there um, in the heart we have Guatemalan cardamom not just cardamom <laughs> Guatemalan cardamom Jamaican nutmeg and Peruvian pink peppercorn wow 
I mean, you would be just impressed just off of the names of these notes, the names of these ingredients. You know, again, I don't know if this is just a way to make it sound fancy or if this actually is, you know, what they say it is, Guatemalan cardamom instead of just cardamom. Jamaican nutmeg instead of just nutmeg. Peruvian pink peppercorn instead of just pink pepper. Um, and, of course, the base is, the rounding out the base is patchouli, cedar wood, and oak, along with aquatic freshness marine moss. So, that is, yeah, yeah, that's it. That rounds out your, your, uh, base. And, uh, supposed to be a new take on a sports fragrance. So, this is supposed to be a sporty type fragrance. Um, you know, when you smell this, you might just think, oh, it's just another woody, fresh aquatic. But, I like, um, I like the strength of it. It's very fresh, very clean. And, uh, I like the, again, I like the strength of it. It's not... A projection monster but it's not uh, you know it's not nearly anything close to like a close a skin scent or anything like that you you're gonna get some projection out of it hours as far as longevity I want to say about I'm gonna say about four to five hours um, and again that I don't really need more than that so if you're not if you're looking for much better longevity then you probably want to look elsewhere but as far as um, longevity this will do good for me um, I can consider this one to be versatile. I could wear this to church. I could wear this just out during the day. I could wear this at night. I have other options for night, so I probably won't be wearing this at night because I have other options. But you could wear this at night. Um, so, again, these, um, actually the notes rather, are, um, I would say a good, i say it's a good combination. Like I said, I'm not sure about all the fancy, the fancy uh, types of, of ingredients I don't know how valid that is because I see that on some fragrances and then I see don't see that on other fragrances and honestly sometimes the ones that don't say don't have the fancy uh, words or the fancy descriptions actually smell better uh, but this one is good this one is definitely good so I definitely would think that you you should give this one a try again it's Alfred and Hoff's number two um, Alfred and Hoff doesn't have many fragrances they only have one two and three as I stated before in um, uh, my top 10 video, number one, you don't have to worry about being confused with number one because number one is like a dark orange type liquid. Uh, and then this one is, of course, I want to say, you can call it like teal, turquoise. The only place that it says number two is right there. That's the only place it says number two. I'm pretty sure I've checked this already, and it doesn't say it anywhere else on here. It just says Alfred and Hoff. So, definitely check this fragrance out. I really do like it. Um, if I had to give it a rating, I'm going to say, I'm going to say a 7.5 out of 10. 7.5 out of 10. This will, this will get the job done, um, you know, as an everyday fragrance, you know. Just like I said, for the summertime, fresh, aquatic, a little bit of woods in the background. Um, it's not spectacular, but you know I don't need it to be spectacular. And you know, this is what this is what you wear. It's like, oh, you smell good. You smell fresh. You smell clean. Good. This is not probably a blow you out of the water type compliment getter. It'll get compliments, but it'll just be, oh, you smell fresh. You smell clean. And sometimes that's all I need. I don't, you know, need, you know, outrageous ladies reactions all the time um, would be nice but you know I don't, and it's not something I'm like oh every time I wear a fragrance it's got to be a knock your socks off out of the blue just you know outrageous over the top lady reaction it doesn't have to be that way for me all the time so this one is like I said a daily driver it'll get it done uh, fresh clean citrus aquatic uh, Again, Alfred and Hoff's number two. So that's it for this short fragrance review. Until next time, believe until you stop breathing. Appreciate all my subscribers. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. See you next time. Peace.